Good afternoon, my name is Rafael Sierra and uh, I'm working in the area of uh, cartography in the Geographical National uh, Institute. Uh, he has introduced the different phases of the project uh, and uh, I'm going to tell you the phases with GVSIC and the conclusions. As my colleague said, after all the information was produced, our product unit was the province. We then did the matching of all provinces and we proceeded to upload data on the database. This was done to be able to control changes and to administer users involved in production. As you can see, one of our control measures is geometry validation, geometry control, control of attributes lists. We also have a version possibility uh, which allows us to monitor versions in the logbook and we can control the automatic backups daily, daily backups. And here we see the way we connect to GVZIC, the connection parameters, and then we have tables for us to choose one. Uh, for this particular project, we tried to adapt GVZIC as much as possible to our official symbols in such a way that users can be really uh, adapted to the project. We have a list of symbols of GVZIC. I brought a video with me for you to see the product. This is a map of the rivers. We would get connected and then load the layers. Let's pay attention to the river maps. If you notice, rivers are continuous even when they go on very shallow, over shallow areas. If an inquiry were made on a particular river, you would see the river code from the Ministry of the Environment and the tag. We are going to have a look at roads in a minute. As I said before, uh, we include highways for the whole of Spain. They are all updated based on the official roadmap of the Ministry of Civil Works. Uh, now we can see toll, the toll motorways, high-speed trains, and national roads. Si nos centramos ahora en la zona de Valencia, Let's zoom on Valencia now. I'm going to display the railway lines. For this, we used ADIF information sources and the towns and municipalities. They were taken from the BEF information sources with updated data given by the provinces. In this case, if an inquiry is made on a particular town or city, like Valencia, you are given the population code, the name of the town, and the number of inhabitants. You can also have information on the suburbs and other populated areas. And there are other items and parameters such as regional roads and forest and countryside ways. Another phenomenon 
for usage areas. Uh, we can have ports, airports, uh, army bases, parks, recreational areas, universities like the Polytechnic of Valencia. Oh, points of interest, uh, sightseeing, heritage, castles, churches, another layer of uh, accommodation, campsites, shelters, hostels, hotels. Let's launch an inquiry for Valencia sightseeing. We can see the lonja, the silk exchange, which uh, gives us a link to the Ministry of Culture of Spain. Apart from this information, we also have data on boundary lines and for protected areas. In this case, um, I want to display information on pi pipelines for gas, water, wastewater treatment plants, all the piping, and of course, the geodesic network. You can see the permanent GPS station of the Politecnico Valencia. Lastly, uh, the latest piece of information is for names of places, uh, names of natural settings, um, capes, gulfs. Vale, con todo esto, eh... vale, con todo esto ya hemos acabado de enseñar más o menos lo que es el That's producto. Roughly it. Vale, aquí voy a pre preparar unas presentaciones para que se quedaran en la presentación unas imágenes. Por último, um, comentaros la finally, aplicación de nuestro producto con, con GVSIG. Lo que hemos hecho es hacer unos meses para que veáis eh, lo que, se, lo que se puede hacer, lo que se puede hacer con el usuario de nuestro producto. En este caso, hemos hecho un análisis con los núcleos de población. Lo que hemos hecho es que hemos hecho un análisis con los núcleos de población de la tribu de Colofonine with the population cual, attribute ver, pues, of INE. The darker más areas más are the more populated este areas. Valencia, pues Valencia, Valencia is, is obviously más, más, the area with the highest population. And statistics, vale, basic statistics have been drawn, such as maximum value, Valencia, 800,000 inhabitants, average population, 2.5. Another analysis: rivers going through urban areas. Como zonas urbanas, hemos contemplado urban areas were considered to be most of the areas in our system, with a military port, airport, plus scattered populational areas. Y una disolución entre ellos para que no nos unamos más. So all polygons were merged into each other for us to have homogeneous shapes. They were then applied the river layer, and you can see in red the stretches of river that actually go through urban areas. And the last analysis aims to display the potential of our points of interest. Points of interest include Castles, gardens, parks, uh, and accommodation premises. In this case, the analysis was very simple. We tried to find any filling stations or service stations within 500 meters from these points of interest. So here we are. And to finish with, a few conclusions. 
deciros que BTNC es un producto continuo para toda España, con una actualización constante por parte de diferentes departamentos de IGN que se cogen y updated by different IGN departments. It is run as a spatial database posties. It is very interesting to integrate GVSIC developments in our project, such as networks, topology, scripting, and spatial analysis. BTN 100 is accessible from different GIS software systems and it could be a good alternative to make the most of GVC. Let me show you the website of the downloading center for you to download the product you can enter it and on the BTN 100 section you can download all these documents plus the product plus the program including metadata and other pieces of information. And here you will find the file, the complete file, and you just need to download it. Thank you for your attention.